Hey everyone, Jalance here, and today we're outside Chompy's, which is a well restaurant bakery deli, this is the official name, which is a New York style bakery in Chandler, Phoenix, and the surrounding areas of Arizona. Guys, here we're to do a man versus food challenge. So this appeared on the newest season of Man vs. Food with the uh, new guy, uh, what's his name? The guy with the orange hair, bit of a beard. I don't know, the new guy that people don't like as much as Adam Richmond. Sorry, my friend. Um, anyway, here to do the uh, Day in the Deli Challenge. This is a New York Deli Challenge, a New York Jewish Deli Challenge. So it features a bowl of matzo ball soup. It features six um, pastrami and cheese pancake sliders. So pancakes are like, like potato pancakes are the bun, lakas are the bun, then there's pastrami in between. It also has six cookies and a bowl of coleslaw. Um, so they actually, uh, Chompies had a food challenge, which is their Jewish slider challenge, appear on the original Man vs. Food series with Adam Richmond, and then Man vs. Food made another appearance here with the new gentleman, and they did this challenge instead of the slider challenge. So yeah, they have two challenges here in total. The rules on this one are 30 minutes. I'm um, order to get the meal for free. I'll get you the cost details. So that, let's head in, how's that? Let's do food. May look very familiar spot, exact same spot, exact same restaurant, different challenge to the day in the day, day in the deli. So like we said, we had these six kind of pastrami cheese and potato pancake sliders. This looks really delicious. This one is nice and warm. Uh, then we have the coleslaw, the six black and whites. So apparently they said it's almost more like a cake than a cookie, which is interesting. I have no clue. And then the matzo ball, which you're not familiar with matzo ball soup, which is a very traditional kind of New York deli kind of style item. Um, it's essentially like chicken broth, vegetables, and the matzo ball itself, which is made of matzo crackers. So it's like a cracker ball. So that's pretty much it. So let's get started here. Oh yeah, 30 minutes, and this one is a $60 meal. So let's get started here just momentarily. Let's say five, four, three, two, one. Let us go. I'm gonna start with this matzo ball soup. Because why not? Mm. Why actually there's noodles in it? And the matzo, like, this is just like, soft kind of dough. It is tasty though. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. Today we are here doing a very unique, different, diverse challenge. So, everything you could expect and more in a fusion combination to find at a kind of New York style deli. We have these black and whites, which are basically cake and or dessert. We have a matzo ball soup, which is pretty traditional and famous in that kind of Jewish deli scene. And then we have latkes, which are very common, and brisket, kind of put together in a slider form. And Casey, that was the name of the other man versus food guy. I couldn't remember it earlier, but Casey. All right, matzo ball, I do some coleslaw. How about those vegetables? So in the original Man vs. Food series here at Chompies, they have the Jewish Slider Challenge, which Adam Richman was unable to complete. So then when Man vs. Food returned with their new host Casey, whom admittingly has a little bit less of a winning streak, all due respect, they made this challenge. I guess seemingly maybe they thought it would be easier, more diverse, more unique. Um, and I mean, really, I mean, the fact that you have these little potato pancake kind of sliders with cheese, brisket, it's a weird, interesting combo, but it tastes good. Delicious. Actually, I'm going to use this plate. 
rock some mustard, some ketchup. Enjoyed this deli mustard last time. Whew. No shortage of food though. And let's give this a rock. Try this pancake slider pastrami thing. Mmm. It's actually a very, very good tasting pastrami. Very fatty and juicy. Cheddar pancakes, just like last time, very flavorful. So with 30 minutes to complete the challenge in order to get the 60 minute meal for free, I would say this is like an intermediate level. It's not a massive, massive challenge, but I think it's still a lot of food for the average individual. I will say everything uh, was tasting very good. I was really enjoying the sliders. Of course, they have different accompaniments like that delicious deli mustard there. I am a big, like, I don't I think you need mustard on deli sandwiches. Let me know if you are a mustard fan in a comment down below. Try the mustard. I mean, that is a good bite. Mm. Pastrami. It's really fatty, so that mustard helps kind of cut it and balance it. But I also love brisket and or pastrami, you know, any kind of those smoked, cured, beefy parts. I mean, I just love cows in general, let's just put it that way. So, of course, I was very excited to get into this beef, get into these sandwiches, and was definitely really curious what these black and whites were going to be called, because like I said, they're kind of mixed between apparently like a cake and a cookie and a sponge cake. Um, anyway, Chompies does have a couple locations around the Phoenix area. From my understanding, so it only, might only be some locations that actually do the challenge. This was the one in Chandler, which I know does do both challenges. Um, so if you are hoping to attempt one of them, definitely call ahead and make sure that that location actually does the challenge. As, like I said, only a couple of them do. And I think they've even actually maybe downsized one or two locations over the years. So it might be something worth checking up on. Um, but I gotta say, the staff were very friendly. The staff were accommodating. Um, they were all pretty cool. And hey, what can I say? It was like a New York style deli in Phoenix. And we're about five minutes in. Commons the chef. Yeah, this pastrami though, delicious. And these are nice and hot, so I'll take that. Definitely appreciate warm food. But I'm enjoying this more than I thought. The uh, just the flavors on everything were actually very, really good, really, really nice. I also think that this was the only restaurant to actually be featured twice in the whole Man vs. Food saga, uh, being like twice for two different challenges, uh, which I think is really unique. So I guess it just goes to show maybe the nice relationship they had between staff, owners, challengers. Maybe they just had difficulty finding you know challenges or things to do in Arizona or in Phoenix. But I gotta say, Phoenix and Arizona actually has a lot of challenges. When it comes to like challenges per capita or per size, Phoenix is one of the most dense big cities I can think of. We up on that mustard. We have two slugs left and then our white and blacks. <coughs> Ooh, <laughs> don't inhale Diet Coke. It does not belong. <laughs> in your lungs. Whew. That'll wake you up in the morning. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whew. There's some air. Whew. Is it possible to burp out of your lungs? That's an interesting question. Let me know you think down below. Lung burps. But that is pretty much the majority of the info. So with that, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, let me know what your favorite deli sandwich is down below. Like I said, I do love me pastrami, I do love me some brisket, anything to do with beef. And I mean, really, I like most sandwiches, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not overly picky. 
uh, especially when you have some uh, delicious accompaniments and yes i probably ate like a whole at least one if not two bottles of mustard here at my visit so with that everyone let's tune in ultimately see what happens and at that let us rock and roll last one about seven and a half minutes in These little bits in here. Now last but not least, just a rate and have in, put this over here, ketchup, we don't need that anymore. Whew. Now I got the white and blacks or black and whites. I don't know which one is supposed to go first. Anyway, let's give it a try. So apparently a, I'll wipe my gloves off. I don't want my pastrami juices on my cookies. I'm gonna just give you a shot. So these cookies, six years old, are valued at eight dollars. So I have I have some high expectations. Hmm. Oh wow. I figured it'd be like a shortbread. It's very um silky. It kind of melts in your mouth. Yeah, but it's very smooth and silky. It is good. Definitely different than what I expected though. Are you supposed to say not in a bad way? It sounds like even a little like chalky texture. It's really unique. Very spongy. It's like the mix between a uh, mix between a little Debbie cake and a shortbread cookie. My bad.
and we are finished. Woo! Look at the staff. They've been coming and watching. Especially after the last time, they were like, can I watch? I was like, yeah, guys, you can come watch. But obviously, the table's to tell you, so. I think it was 12 minutes, 10 seconds. Final time. That was honestly really good. I didn't know what to expect when I heard like, like matzo ball soup, coleslaw, cookies, and then like pancake pastrami sliders. What? Oh. I got a burp. Oh. Get some air in me. I do feel better. Yeah, comments to Chef, that was really, really nice. Um, I no complaints. Some pastrami, a nice hot pastrami actually with that pancake. The lacco went very, very well. I am impressed. Great flavor, really nice taste of pastrami uh, with and without the deli mustard. Of course, I use that partly as a lubricant or as a tool to help me also eat a little quicker. I wouldn't have used as much if I was eating casually. And those black and whites, very interesting. Not at all what I was expecting. I was expecting basically a shortbread cookie. And it's a little bit like that, but it's, it is a lot more like a cake. It's really unique and not in a bad way, just really, really unique. So that everyone, we do get the $60 meal for free, which is pretty cool. We are one of the few to actually beat this challenge. Not many people have beaten this challenge, I guess, um, since it was on the Man vs. Food with Casey, the new host. And apparently that was even a couple years ago still. So. That everyone, hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, next time, so happy to the hungry, happy eating. Arizona's been a blast, but a lot of fun here. I'm heading out now. Um, yeah, the weather's been nice down here, at least in southern Arizona. Northern Arizona was cold, but the people are friendly, and uh, huge thanks to staff here. They've all been really, really courteous as well. So, that everyone, until next time, of course, happy to the hungry, happy eating. And that's about it. Until next time, have a good day. Just look at this. <laughs> what a stunning view. Woo. And I'm not gonna lie, the views here are just absolutely stunning. I drove in in the dark, I couldn't see any of this. This is just the absolute most beautiful thing ever. Man, these cliffs are just so immense. The rocks, they look like they're just right there. Wow, I mean, honestly, like this, I'm actually so glad I came to even just that little bit further south to officially do the whole scenic byway. This is not disappointing at all. Just look at it. Absolutely beautiful. Bell Rock. Is the Chapel of the Holy Cross, which won an award for one of the most like amazingly made structures in Arizona, and I definitely see why. It is really cool, and it actually looks like it literally is just coming out of the rock. Amazing! It actually is Sunday. Maybe we'll get a catch a little bit of a service. And I really feel this is just one of those times words just don't describe. They just don't do you know it justice. The true beauty, the sheer magnitude up here. <sighs> Nuts. And here's something I don't say every day, so I decided to go up a little further. So let's just say, hey, your buddy Joel Hans, you're coming, <laughs> coming at you from the side of a freaking mountain cliff. Would not recommend. Everybody, the time has come. Not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe. Click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you want to watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc., link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out. Appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.